All right. So we're out here today and we're going to build these window screens. I'm going to use my first set as templates. I'll time lapse that as I cut it down and then at the end I'll give you guys measurements on everything the best I can. <laughs> it would help if I unlocked it, wouldn't it? <laughs> I guess what I could do is show you the first pair in place, how I set them up. If you know how to shut off that beeper. <laughs> so with the door closed, all I do is I bring it in. You gotta kind of bend it just a little bit. I think I might not have gone down far enough. There you go. Now it's fit into the window. You bring it down onto the window. And then you're just gonna slowly bump it up. the guard in place <clears throat> there's a seam at the top of this if you use the gutter cover if you use it at full height and don't cut it you've got a pretty sizable gap the only reason I'm redoing these is to do the video for you guys and I don't like this edge <laughs> it's kind of silly but I have a relatively smooth fit um, it's got a little wave to it, which I can trim off the ends to make the fit better. But overall, it's pretty good. Actually, I just went ahead and grabbed all my tools. So there were questions on the measurement. To get the new piece of gutter guard. Again, I can't vouch as to the price of these in your area. But here our local chain, big box chain is Menards, but we also have Home Depot and Lowe's. I picked these up at Menards. They're $1.97 for each four foot piece. Four foot. Each three foot piece. <laughs> so you end up with a little bit of waste. But basically what I did you have to look at each side. One side has the screening. The other side just has the outer holes. So I made it so that the screening is on the inside. And I also left the gutter guard at full height. Um, I don't see a need to cut it out. It gives you a five and seven eighths space above the window. So it should be more than adequate for most purposes. Um, the window itself, the opening, at the bottom, from inside to inside, it's 21 and a quarter. At the top, just below the curve, is also 21 and a quarter. And so again, you wind up with this 21 and a quarter by six inch cover and all you had to do is, I'm just going to paint mine black. I'll cover that on the video. But let me set up and we will now, I'll go ahead and use the good one as a template. Again, I'm going to adjust that. Speaking of which, because I have it <laughs> already finished, I'm going to trace my edge so that I know to carry that one to that edge. And same thing with this one, this side. I don't know how I'm going to carry that mark down, but I'll figure that one out. All right, let me stop, turn around, get everything set up. I'm lining these up exactly how I made them. 
like I said, I'm using my first pair as a <clears throat> first pair as a template. Now I know this one I want to cut off right here. Indicating that that is a piece of waste. back edge is going to be slightly different, so I'll come back and fix that. Again, I'm eyeballing that. That's my cutoff. That's a waste. So this box from here to here should be 21 and a quarter to match up with the door opening and it is Funny is it doesn't it's not quite straight. Twenty two and a quarter. Twenty two and a quarter. Tells me that the holes are slightly off the rows are slightly off axis. Which is funny because visually it looks straight, but when you draw a straight line across. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do these first cuts and then I'll come back to you guys. EMT shears cut this stuff like magic. The hardest part is cutting through this edge right here. We have our overall blank for the window. I need to remove this front edge plus the fold down to the plastic. The other side is going to be about the same removal, but I'm going to wait because I might be able to just trim this rib off right here. Hopefully this shows up okay. But I might be able to just trim this rib so that it fits up in the door frame. Okay, I paused for a minute because the family came up and they're going fishing. <laughs> so, what I've done here now is I've trimmed these edges back. This outer lip. I've cut it back at my 21 and a quarter. So this edge Right here is 21 and a quarter. That's the face of the window. So now, as best as I can, I'm going to trim that just a touch with the shears. So I've got just this little lip. And you can actually just wiggle it off, and it'll come off. I'll go back in and trim this with a knife in a little bit. And same thing on the front edge, leading edge of the window towards the driver's door. Right now I'm working on the driver's side. Same thing. And again, I'm trying not to overcut. I don't want to go too deep. So that my cuts are not exposed to the outside of the window. So now it's trimming time. I would recommend a sharp knife, but as always, be careful <laughs> with a sharp knife. Good 
gonna just carry I'm hoping this is on camera well enough let me turn around so I can actually see the camera view so yeah I've cut it down I still have to trim this lip off I've carried this particular cut all the way around to the back side right there this this lip needs to come off this lip needs to come off same thing on the other end I apologize for this not focusing too well this camera is not the best at focusing with near and distant objects but yeah so I'm gonna score these down and I'll be back with you okay so now we've come up I've now trimmed this flush so the remnant of this upper part of this lip is now cut off and cut flush smooth so that this tab is smooth and same thing on the back side again I've cut this rib off clean now this is the piece that needs to fit into so we're looking at the front edge on the driver's door this is the piece that actually goes into the window frame this side and same thing with the other end here cut the lip off trimmed it flint trimmed it and the same thing with this inner edge I could probably notch that one a little cleaner and I think I will <laughs> and same thing with this back edge now this is now flush <laughs> Paint it black. Almost looks like they belong there. So this is the driver's side. And here you go, passenger side. Still would like that fit a little bit tighter right there, but that's pretty damn good. <laughs> and as you back off, they just kind of blend in. Four dollars. I already had the can of paint, so if you gotta buy a can of paint, it's about four dollars for the brand I showed. I think it was three ninety-seven for the can. So under ten bucks. And just one more time, the inside measurement of this window is twenty-one and a quarter. So I added a half an inch into each track so that it slots in and I left the top uncut so you're 21 and a quarter to your first to your tab cut 22 and a quarter overall width and then the full six inch height so you wind up with a nice bit of airflow through the band I'm trying to line it up so you can see out the other one but can't quite get out there you can see it through there <laughs> But yeah, totally tickled with that.